Hello everybody, this is episode two of Italian Meal Time. Today we are gonna make classic hamburger helper. We got our noodles, we got our sauce. This is a powdered sauce, by the way. We got our meat, all pounded, ready to go. I'm gonna turn on our, uh, our little uh, our, our pan here. Stick the meat in. Italian meal time, we've decided to do something a little different, okay? We don't live in mom's basement or, you know, get to live in mom and dad's house, so I thought there's people out there who need to know how to make good quality food for the family. So that's what Italian meal time is all about. We're all about the family here, okay? Chop the meat up real good. Okay, last thing you want. By the way, when you buy your meat, try and get the Angus beef. Don't get that 80-20 crap. I mean, I know I like to get as much cholesterol in my veins as I can, but Angus meat just tastes so much better. Okay, the meat's cooked. Check it out. When you use Angus, there is no grease in there at all. Isn't that just great? That's just awesome. I wanted to show you guys something too. It can't be Italian meal time unless you're using Italian herbs. Don't, you know, just because the box says do that, you can still add your own stuff, all right? Point I want to make, thanks to Obama, used to buy the good stuff. Everything I own now has Kroger on it. One and a quarter cups of milk, pour it right in there. One and a half cups of hot water. Try and get as steamy as you can, by the way. We only use soft water here. Hard water bags. Fake sows. Put it in there. As you can see, it kind of just uh, lumps into a big uh, kind of lump in the nest. Kind of just uh, roll it around there. Okay. Add your fake noodles. This probably feeds a family of, uh, well, with my kids, it'll feed a family too. Basil, just a pinch. You don't want too much basil. Basil is a really strong herb, believe it or not. Oregano, pile the oregano on there, man. That's the good stuff. A little bit of parsley, just a pinch. See that? Pinch, pinch parsley. And I know my kids hate it, but just a dash of red pepper. But I wanted to say a couple things, you know. Um, I think Epic Meal Time is really cool. So, you know, I don't want them to think I'm bashing on them. I think those guys are awesome. As a matter of fact, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be doing this. So, um, Epic Meal Time, you guys rock. Keep it up. Um, also, another thing, you know, look, when you view this, tell your friends, you know, your family, get a lot of views because when I start get that money rolling in like Epic Meal Time does, we're going to do classic stuff like lasagna, ravioli. I mean, I'm Italian. We're going to do it from scratch. I'm going to show you how to make the best lasagna in the world. And if anybody's out there makes lasagna with cottage cheese, don't even bother watching. All right, here we go. This is what we got here. Remember, this is supposed to be Philly cheesesteak hamburger helper. Isn't that nice with a few Italian seasonings in it? Looks really good. It's been simmering for about nine minutes. It's almost ready to ready to go. We got our got our bowls here. You know, we eat everything we make, so and look who's here. Mr. Kitty! Hey Mr. Kitty! You want some Italian mealtime too? I know you do. Here you go, buddy. Chow down. Yeah, that is so good. I hope it's not too hot. I know kitchens don't like hot food. Oh. Man, there's nothing like crap cooked on a stove out of a box. It's so good. Another four years of Obama, we just might be eating the box. Anyway, have a good night everybody. Italian Meal Time signing off.